Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a sneaky Gmail phishing campaign. This story comes from a company called WordFence, who actually creates a security product for WordPress. However, they occasionally comment on other security issues as well. In their blog post, their researchers commented on a new tricky Gmail spear phishing campaign that seems to be affecting many users. In fact, folks on other forums have been talking about this as well. Let me start with the basics. Basically, here's how it works. If you're a Gmail user, you might get an email that seems to come from your friend, and it might have a subject of a past email you had with that friend. It will also appear to have an attachment. However, if you click on that said attachment, rather than actually getting a preview of the attachment, it's going to pop up what will look like a Google authentication window. And it actually looks very legitimate, like the normal Google authentication page. Now, if you do actually put your credentials into that page, you've just given them to the attackers behind this campaign. And apparently, these attackers very quickly access your Google account, and the first thing they do is find some emails to your friends so that they can copy those subject lines and forward this phishing email to all your friends as well with another attachment that looks like it has something to do with your emails. In fact, once you give up your credentials, these attackers seem to be sending their emails so quickly that they either have automated the process or they're actually very quick to respond. On the surface, this may not sound more sneaky than other phishing email, but they are using one technical trick that makes it uh, a little more sneaky and might cause more tech-savvy people to actually fall for it. Essentially, that thing you think is an image is really actually a picture with a link. And when you click on the link, it's not a normal HTTP link. It's actually something called a data URI. This is a special type of link that actually links to a full file. The file is actually in that URI and your browser, rather than opening an external link, is opening a file right from that actual URL. Now, these sorts of links won't look like HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Rather, they'll look like data colon text HTML followed by sometimes an HTML link. And because the HTTP portion of this link actually appears to be the real Google account page, it might trick some users out there into actually trusting the account site and giving away their credentials. But if you actually scroll through the entire URI, you'll find some JavaScript and some encoded code Code, which is really the spear phishing page. On top of that, savvy users might notice that data links do not have that secure lock sign that HTTPS sites do. So what should you do about this? Well, first, enable two-factor authentication. If you have two-factor authentication, even if someone fishes your normal credentials, they're going to have a harder time getting that second factor. And even if they make two-factor part of their phishing, that requires very specific timing. So they'd have to attack you very, very quickly. On top of that, whenever you go to a page, be sure to actually check the browser link. Make sure that it's HTTPS colon wherever you're going. If you see something like data colon text HTML in something you clicked on, that should bring up your suspicion. In fact, this data URI link is a way that a lot of bad guys have tried to evade uh, URL security products to do pop-ups and other things like that. Anyways, interesting story. Be sure to enable two-factor authentication and check the links you go to. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.